Hello YouTube world, this is Dantastic with Dantastic Doing Stuff. Got the shirt on, got the dog, so this is POW Ridgeback Edition. My goal is to see if my dogs, this is Chili, Rosie's upstairs, you all know her, she's the pulling dog, and Chili will be too. Uh, they can be scent dogs. I've never trained a scent dog, so what I wanted to do with my uh, novice abilities of training a scent dog, I wanted to see if they were even worth training. Uh, Ridgebacks are, oh, she's trying to sit down now. Ridgebacks are uh, sight hounds, but you read a lot about them being potential, that's okay, about them being potential scent hounds. Uh, they do have mix with them with uh, the bloodhound. All purebreds were originally mutts, right, at one time before they got their status, and bloodhound is one breed that they mixed the Ridgeback to get these wonderful dogs. If you see those ears, Chili and that nose, Chili looks a little bit more like a bloodhound than her sister Rosie, but we'll see which one passes the test. I was gone for two months in Cornfield, Illinois. Love you guys out there. Had a lot of fun. Uh, it was a good job and came back, so I figured they'd be missing me. If there was any time to test them to see if they could be scent hounds, it would be this time. After seven hours of driving home from Illinois, I took my socks off. And I said, this is the opportunity to see if these dogs will be able to smell me out if it's worth me trying to train them. So with the one sock I threw on the ground, that way it would give them a sense of knowing that I am home, knowing what to look for, because if it has come out here and not even know they're supposed to look for me, then they're not going to get real far, are they? But with the other sock, I ran in the grass like this. I would lift up and I would do it again. And I went all the way to the backyard. This is a real far course. I don't have a huge yard here. And I think it was big enough to pass or fail my test though. Then I, at the fence, I turned up along the wall. And then I wanted to see if they could chase that same scent, my scent, and the rocks and on the cement. I did walk around the fireplace with it. And then I ended up hiding over by that pile of woods, pile of uh, firewood over there and hid behind that tree. Now, like I said, novice, never did this before, but I do want to see if they can naturally use that nose of theirs to find me. And it was a good way of just saying, hi, I'm back. Let's have some fun. Let's get playing again. Release the hounds is correct. Here come the dogs. Chili out first. Remember, neither one of them know that I'm here, but Rosie immediately catches on to my car being in the driveway. She hasn't seen that car for two months, and now she's questioning it. We try to get their attention on that sock. There it is. Rosie just goes right up to it, starts sniffing. Chili's looking around, thinking, what's going on? Ooh, a sock. I better eat that sock. See, Rosie kind of knows where I'm going. Her nose is to the ground. This is pretty encouraging for me, seeing that she's sniffing around but she did see that car so you will see that she doubles back here relying on her eyes she didn't quite trust her nose there and remember i am walking around this area i did walk around this area when i got out of the car you can see where she did track me there and then she starts air setting chasing me running after me she smells it following it and then bam she catches me with her eyes no longer any need to smell. She comes, gets me. We're excited, excited. I dropped the phone, obviously. Uh, overall, this was a promising, promising test for me. Uh, they both sniffed it. You saw their noses down in there sniffing. Rosie, she wanted to trust her eyes, but didn't. She followed the nose, chased me in the back, stopped when she did see me, and came over. And yeah, we started playing. Now, this is just a man and his dogs having fun. I missed them, they missed me, you could tell. Giving them some treats, I brought home some raw meat for them, thinking that'd be a nice little surprise. Uh, They're jumping around, excited. I didn't know if Chili would remember me. She's five months, so I left around when she was three months, but she did. She remembered me. For this novice trainer, I'm calling this a success. Success of their natural abilities to follow that nose. So this is fantastic doing stuff. Training my dogs, learning how to be scent dogs.